creative people and welcome back to my channel better way to end this year with than a Q&A I have added or post on Instagram and so many of you had so many questions to ask me and I'm so excited because I think it's finally time to give you a lot of answers but before I start with answering your questions I really wanted to share one brand that I have been working with before and this is the brand that is called 7R9 there are two women who started this brand and they are making the most comfortable timeless shoes for women um, they are so beautiful and when I say comfortable I mean comfortable I have worked with them before I actually have tried their loafers I'm not a loafer girl but um, since I do work at the office I need to have the shoes that are comfortable and that are matching with blazers and stuff like that and sneakers are not always go-to for me because I really want to feel very professional and um, being taken seriously to be honest for my wallet I think they're a little bit pricey uh, but for the quality, comfort and the function of the shoe, I think it's very worth every single penny uh, because they really do what they say. I mean, they make very classy, very comfortable, timeless and high quality shoes. So the first pair, they actually come in very um, luxurious boxes, I would say. This is a very beautiful packaging I'm um, madly in love with these ones I have not worn them as you can see but I did try them they are very comfortable um, even if you have a wider foot I think these ones actually kind of forms the foot um, so I really love them I love the heel I think they don't sell super high heels I think the highest heel they sell is maybe 10 centimeters which is the normal um, I think if you're working at the office you cannot walk in 15 centimeters like that's not possible and it does not look professional so the high I think this one was about seven or eight um, but this is for me like the perfect shoe for work especially at the winter and um, uh, I wouldn't say spring but winter and uh, autumn I think this is just the perfect shoe for that so very happy and excited to wear these ones they're so beautiful and classy they do have a little heels as you can see um, I have also not worn these ones but I did try them they are also once again very comfortable from the inside because right here where the toes are it's some kind of I don't know foam or something it really forms the foot and I mean I really love them I think they are very very beautiful um, very comfortable and the design is very timeless because we as I already say uh, I love like basic designs like this uh, because you know you can wear them now and in 10 years and they will still look trendy so I love pieces like this and purchasing these shoes for the price I think it's worth it because I'm not gonna wear them this is not like a trendy shoe that I'm gonna wear them in specific and uh, that I'm going to wear them in just a, a season these are the shoes that i'm gonna wear in probably three to four years because once again they are very timeless and they work with everything and i did not choose them in leather or like fake leather i choose these ones are like leather but these ones are like mocha uh, mocha is a fabric that is like leather but inside and it is a very beautiful um, I don't know how it will how it will react to the water, but I think it's just a pretty design. I'm I am in love with these ones. <laughs> really recommend for you to go and check them out. I will put all of the products in my description box below, so feel free to go and check them out. And if there is a discount code, I will also add it there. Um, but yeah, th this is a very very good um, company. They really think about the comfort because you know at the office you're you're like maybe you're standing or having doing like a lot of errands you're like running for like front and back and all of the things and you really need to have very comfortable shoes but at the same time you have to look professional so this is a brand that really like achieves all those points um, so I really would recommend for you to go and check them out at least <sighs> move on to the questions the first question is what uh, camera do you use when you're filming YouTube videos? I am going to actually put everything here 
I'm using this camera and I'm using a specific lens. This is something that I really hate, to be honest. When I have been watching so many YouTubers and I, you know, you want to have the best quality, you want to have this and you want to have that and you're always looking, please can you upload videos, How? what, what type of camera and equipment you're using and none of them are really telling the truth. So it really bothered me because, you know, I'm not going to steal your followers, I'm just going to be another face there. So I had so much like hard thing to find what camera do I need. Um, I know I needed like a video camera and I know I wanted to have this video camera as well as a photography camera or photo camera. Um, so I had very like hard to find a YouTube video on the YouTube or you know watching my favorite YouTubers and see what cameras do they use uh, because they're not all really honest and I really hate that. Uh, but these are the ones that I'm using and this is specific lens so you cannot purchase them together you have to purchase them separately because one is Canon and I think the lens is Sigma oh my god are you single? yes I am and I'm very happy to be single and I am not looking for anything or anyone or anything with anybody I'm just very happy uh, where I am at the moment. I really enjoy this single life at the moment. This is, this is the best. The other question is future plans on having children. Oh god, um, I really want to have children. I want to have three or four but it always changes depending on uh, your first one. Um, I know my sister she said also oh I want to have four children and she had like the horrible like pregnancy and she's like no I'm done like I can't go through it again <laughs> so I am saying now I would like to have three or four but I don't know I really do want to have children I don't know when maybe in two three years uh, but yeah or maybe I don't know what can happen next year I may be pregnant I don't I don't know Oh, there's another question. This is actually a pretty good question. How do you approach brands collaborations? Well, um, I think also this is also very something that a lot of like influencers and YouTubers don't like to share with their followers because I think they're they're like, I don't know, it just feels like everybody's hungry and everybody wants the success and fame and all of that. But what I do when I do collabs, when I'm asking a brand to collaborate with me is that I create a media kit and I can also add it in my social, in my description box below, so you can see what I'm talking about. Your media kit should be some like a, like a portfolio. You wanna, you want brands to see what type of content are you creating. Um, so for me, I have a lot of pictures of myself that I have taken by myself with like a tripod or that I, that my like siblings and my mom have taken from me or my friends. Um, so you, you have to like add so many pictures, not only on yourself, but also product photos. Uh, brands do want to see if you can uh, make product photos, product videos, uh, all of that. Um, also what kind of brands you have worked with them previously and how much do you cost? And uh, now that sounded really badly, but um, how much does this take for you uh, for them to pay you to create the video or to um, to create a photo or to create a reel and etc. So create a media kit and also please add the links of all the social platforms if you are uh, how do you get many collaborations with brands? Um, I actually have no idea how I get them uh, but of course they send an email to me and then I go through them and then I look at the products and I'm like okay this is good this is good this is good and then I know how much my uh, like social platforms are worth and then I am like okay I need this much products if you want to do like a product gift video or if you want to do like a paid or if you want to do like a paid collab um, you also you know they're like emails front and back you know forth and I don't know how to say it but you understand what I mean so it takes time to create collabs with the brands um, especially when it comes to the payment. Um, so brands are getting much more tougher when it comes to collaborating with influencers because they're also not getting that much. Um, okay, let's say a brand is willing to pay you $500 to make a post, okay? And they say you need to make like a post on Instagram and you have about, let's say 50 or 30K followers 
and you know only because you have 30k followers doesn't mean that the brand will sell anything anything so a lot of influencers are asking the brands to give them um, very high amounts of money uh, but they are not getting a lot of things back so that's why a lot of brands are trying to work with micro influencers micro influencers have followers that are very much interested in their day life that are interested in what they are buying that are interested in what they're using so it's much more real connection and that's where that makes much more sell than if you're a huge influencer you don't you you don't make that lot of sales and i'm saying this because i work as an influencer manager and i know what influencers are asking brands to pay um, and then they pay and then don't get any sales at all not all brands are going to chase you you have to chase them as well because there are so many people in this world there's so many influencers so many youtubers etc so brands don't know you know that you exist so you need to show them hi I'm here um, I'm very much interested in this and this and this and then they're like oh well we like your content we like the way you do uh, can we use maybe your material your pictures on our website or something else and then you come up with a great uh, agreement and that's it moving on uh, any exciting plans or projects for the future well you know I have always plans and projects uh, but Oh, oh my god, uh, this year I have so many plans and projects very personal um, that I have achieved and I can finally close that chapter and move on in life. So I feel done with that. This year, 2024, I am actually not having any plans but I know what I want. Um, I know that I'm going to post more DIY videos, hopefully. I'm not gonna promise anything because sometimes even though when I say I don't post, I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, I do have, I do have like, a, I know what I want. I won't say it's a plan, but I do know what I want. And uh, yeah, uh, I can share. <laughs> How do you see yourself in the next year? <gasps> I want to shake my ass on a yacht. Uh, no, <laughs> I feel so free. So I don't know how to explain this, but my feeling like at the moment, I feel so relieved like I have like lift like a very heavy stone from my body and just literally I'm so like light like a feather um, I feel like I can do anything you know um, is I don't know if I have told you but I actually have moved to Stockholm that was one of my goals for 2023 so I'm living in Stop Stockholm at the moment I have a beautiful apartment I live uh, in a very fancy like place um, it's very very like in the middle of the Stockholm um, so I'm very grateful that I have achieved that as, because it was my goal uh, for the future I don't know I, I don't know if I am going to move to other city or another country or you know I don't know I would love to live in Spain because I really hate this cold weather here although I do know that I really want to have like a house somewhere where it's warm maybe uh, Greece or Italy or Spain because you know I just wanna when I get old I wanna I wanna sit there enjoy life <laughs> and why would I wait until I get old when I can do that now you know plants when are we going to see another DIY YouTube video okay listen I do know I have I have a purpose why I moved to Stockholm and it is connected to my DIY videos so I mean you are going to see my DIY videos but they are not going to be easy as you have seen previously uh, or seen before that I have posted because I know you really love it like easy stuff I don't like easy stuff because I don't usually wear them I like everything that is complicated and, and then that does have like 150 patterns and to connect everything in one piece so I really like this complicated stuff so I maybe I'm going to do DUI series instead just wait it's gonna be so fun I have like this thing in my head I cannot let it go so I need to create it before it just fades away plans for the summer I actually would really love to uh, do two things one is travel another one is save money <laughs> and those things don't work together so um, I want to save money because I really want to get a house and I'm done waiting to find somebody so I can 
buy a house together. Um, so I really want to buy a house by myself. I really want to have like a house that is like that has a lake in my backyard. So when you go in your living room and you open the doors from the uh, balcony, you just see the water in your backyard. And I don't care, you know, I know these houses do have in Sweden, a lot of them, but they are like super far away from the city. And they are somewhere in, somewhere deep in the woods, behind some rock. I don't like that because I really am a city girl oh, but you know I really want the house at the same time I really want to shake my ass on a yacht I really do want to do that as well so I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen I really want to travel a lot this year because I'm never gonna get these years in my life again so yeah house saving saving traveling saving traveling 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 I don't know. So I think I'm gonna end this video now. Um, I think, I hope I have answered your questions that you have asked me. Um, and uh, yeah, I really hope you see, I really hope to see you in my next video. And stay tuned, cause um, I'm not gonna say a lot of things, but stay tuned. And I really hope to see you in my next video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And follow me on other social media as well. It will really mean a lot to me. See you in my next video. Hey, Dawn!